welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt, and today we're going to go over the RV7 digital reverb that's been in Reason for a long time. Now, this reverb is a half rack, and it's actually a very useful um, reverb. And it comes with 10 reverb algorithms. And they are their hall, large hall, hall two, large room, medium room, small room, gated, low density, stereo echoes, and pan room. And it's these last four here that are really, that kind of really make this thing shine. These last uh, four, and we're going to go over them, and I'm going to show you why I think they, they're, they're pretty useful. And the rest of the reverb algorithms are good also. It comes with the control for size, decay, dampening, and the, your dry wet. It's, it's very easy to use. You know, you got your bypass and on and off right here. On the back of every half rack, you'll see these graphs. And what they do is they indicate how the... Um, the effect handles uh, mono or stereo input through the you know the signal path and this one you can see you can you can put mono you can put one uh, input here mono and it will come out stereo or you can put in stereo and it will it will be summed into the effect and then put out stereo you know this this effect this hat, this RV7 is not a true stereo reverb. That's important to understand. You'll need to use the RV7000 to have uh, to have a true stereo uh, reverb. But this reverb is very useful in you know just affecting certain certain instruments. Next, we'll look at the uh, the four algorithms that I think really make the RV7. Uh, shine and, and be, it makes it useful in my opinion that is the gated the low density the stereo echo and the pan room first we'll start with the gated and what I did was I hooked up a gated reverb here to a Kong on a snare and that's when I think of a gated reverb that's what I th I think of a snare and basically I just uh, came out of the output into the reverb and then out of the reverb into the the snare here and then I set the snare highlighted here and set the snare to bus effect and this gives me a gated reverb okay you'll see here that the decay has no effect it because it does not it's not used in the gated effect algorithm so this is not useful not active and you can set the time, the size, how wet, and you can dampen it a little, and the size. So you can get some some good sounding gated reverbs using this. less a little tighter okay so next we have the low density the low density reverb will result in a, a grainy sounding reverb that's good for effects one thing when you're you'll hear when you're moving around the size of the algorithm you're you're adjusting the size of the the effect in the, the algorithm that you're using the the audio will go silent as you're moving it as it recalibrates or recalculates the size of the the size setting see you can hear nothing then and basically basically this reverb is good because the reverb isn't trailing forever it just doesn't have as long as a trail it's it's denser and it's more right on you and then it kind of drops off 
here, here we'll put it to all the way wet. It just kind of drops off. And then you can dampen it. Okay, here we'll look at the stereo echoes, and if you want to just have a quick stereo echo for an, uh, an instrument or a vocal or whatever, the RV7 here is a, it's a good little useful tool. And first thing to know is that, that the size here, what this does is it adjusts the delay time of the echo, not the size. It's the delay time for the echo. So you can get some good effects, uh, stereo uh, echoes here with this thing. A little longer. A little more decay. Okay, that's that. It's a pretty cool effect and you, you should try it out on different things and you'll find it's super easy to put in there and it's just easy to, it's like boom, boom and you have a stereo echo. It was easy. I use it all the time. Next we'll look at the pan room and the, the echo effect here with this it repeats alternating between stereo sides. This is slightly similar to stereo echoes but the echo repeats have softer attacks. It's a, it's a softer echo and it can come in handy. See, it's not as, a, as aggressive a, as a, an echo as the, the stereo echo, but it's an echo. Just more laid back, if you will. That's a pretty cool effect. Okay, so that's the RV7 Digital Reverb in Reason, and I suggest you try it out. I mean, if you need a quick, you know, you want a little reverb on anything, it's, it's a great little tool to have. And the four um, algorithms, gated, low density, stereo, echoes, and pan room, you know, you're not going to find an easier way to get that effect out of any of the effects that we have that that come in reason. So uh, I suggest you use it. And as always, uh, thanks for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next session. Take care.